Hi, I'm Norm with Performance Metal Shaping. Uh, a couple questions we get from some people when I teach my classes is, and when we sell these, uh, these are Mittler Brothers Planishing Machines. Uh, the one to my right is the original. The one to my left is the production model. Uh, pretty nice little machine. One of the things I get people ask is, how does the metal, sh how does the metal get its shape? The way it works is, it's basically a hammer on dolly. Basically, you're taking a hammer, bottom die is nothing more than a dolly, and what it's doing is basically, if you know how to work a hammer and dolly, this is what it's doing. Okay? Now, people ask me, well, how does it take the shape? The way it takes the shape is it causes the metal to stretch. It's like an English wheel except it hammers. People say, well, how much can it stretch? So I'm going to show you real quick how much I can stretch with this. Okay, we're going to start with a dead flat piece of metal, okay? This thing is dead flat. Nice and flat. I'm just going to run it real through real fast to show you. You notice we got a fair amount of crown this way. Now if I want to add more crown in the other direction. We're adding more crown, okay? Basically, when you stretch a piece of metal, it has to go somewhere so it goes out like in a star pattern. It's causing the middle to rise up. Uh, that's basically how this machine works. Nothing more than an air-powered hammer and dolly. Okay. Now, another question I get from people is, what can a planishing machine do that an English wheel can't do? And the answer to it is, in some ways, I can move metal faster. I can make small pieces, like this little blister here, or well, this here, which is nothing more than a bucket of a tail light of a headlight lamp or gauge or a hole in a hood where you got to put a recess but a little blister like this you can't do on an english wheel because it's too small okay that's one of the questions we get asked i'm going to show you how to make one the other question people ask is norm i want to make this right here how big of a piece of metal do i have to start with to get that shape right there and the answer is the exact size of what you want the base to be this is what we're going to start with right here. We're going to start with this piece of metal right here. And if you notice, they're both the same size. Okay? We're going to start with that. And just so we're not playing any games, here is the original pattern we pull it off of. They're both the same size. Okay? Now, in the videos you've seen, I'm not wearing hearing protection. The reason why I'm not wearing hair protection, I am partially deaf. It doesn't bother me due to a birth defect, okay? Wear hearing protection. Preserve your ears. This is very, very noisy. Next thing is, is wear gloves. On the big panels like I've done in the previous videos, I've been able to get away from it not wearing gloves. On this here, I'm working in such a concentrated area, what's going to happen is, is that it jumps around in my hand and it'll slice you and you don't even know about it, okay? Now what we're going to be using here is we're using a high radius die. This is three quarter inch radius. This is nothing more than a little piece of rubber that I cut to a circumference, okay? A little round circle that I glue up here. Find a local roofing company. This is the stuff that they use to seal the metal flashings around the building. It's nothing more than 045 EPDM rubber with a gum tape on the back, okay? Works well. If you can't find a roofing company, these are the little pieces that they put underneath furniture so you don't wreck your floors. Those work pretty good. They're a little bit on the soft side. The other one that works good too is these little plastic caps, okay? I like the rubber roof material myself, okay? What we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to make one of these little blisters here. And I'll show you what this thing can do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start working 
in a circle, and I'm going to start bringing my piece down. I'm going to start bringing my piece down. I'm actually going to start stretching my middle up, okay, to get my shape. So here's my blank piece. That's how much I moved it in about two seconds. Beauty of this machine, if you notice, I keep going back to my left to make adjustments. And there we have our crown, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna peel my rubber off. Now one thing it does do is it really destroys the rubber. Hopefully there's enough left that I can show you. It really tears it apart. Now once I got my rubber off, I'm gonna do some smoothing on it, and then I'm gonna finish it on the other machine. Now I got it pretty much roughed in. The black stuff you're seeing is basically the residue from the rubber. We're going to go over this machine just to do our finish work, and we'll do that in our next segment.